Hey Divination, welcome to our brand new mini series How to add custom templates and design to Divi's blog post formats. The blog is one of the most important parts of your website because this is where all your dynamic content resides. Out of the box we have a brilliant layout but if you customize it and make it look slightly different this makes your website unique and also a bit more creative. So in this mini series we'll be showing you step by step how to customize your layout to make it look different and make you stand out. So I can't wait to get started. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let me show you how we managed to create this. Hello and welcome to part three of our mini series. Now this is the last video in the mini series and the main thing we're gonna do is to style our layout. So a lot of what we're going to do is going to involve using a lot of CSS. And if you'd like to follow along, I'll also include the link to the CSS code in the show notes below. So let's start off by setting up general design settings in Theme Customizer. So if you haven't done so, log into your WordPress uh, admin dashboard and come over here to Divi and click on Theme Customizer. So let's go to our general settings and layout settings. So what we need to do here is to just make sure that... Our gutter width is set to 2. We need to use the uh, sidebar, so let's make sure that this is checked. And the sidebar width is set to 30. And then finally, the theme accent color, if you can just come in here and choose orange. Now, depending on your layout of your website and the design of your website, the color may vary. But this is just for the purposes of this design. But you can choose any color. But for now, we're just going to go ahead and choose this orange. Okay, so once we're done with that, let's go ahead and set our color scheme. So to do that, we need to go back and come over here to color schemes and then click the drop down and just choose orange. Once you're done with that, let's go ahead and save and publish. Now let's go back to our website and take a look at uh, what it looks like so far. If we take a look here in when we click the, uh, the post, you'll see that um, there's a lot of work that needs to be done and this is where the CSS comes. So the next thing we need to do is to add our CSS code. Now there's two places you can do this. You can either come to theme options and then come scroll all the way down here to custom CSS and add it over here. But I prefer doing it in the theme customizer and I'll tell you why. Now with the theme customizer, if you once you add your CSS, it actually shows you what your page looks like as soon as you've added the added the CSS code. So I'm going to come here to additional CSS and paste my CSS in here. All right, so I'm just going to paste it like that. And straight away, you can see that this is how the CSS has changed the page. So this is how our blog page is going to look like. Okay, so the next step now is to style our standard post format. So what we're going to do uh, for this is just to add a an image right here where we have this gray background because it, it will look definitely much better when we have uh, an image. So the images that we're going to use are from a website called unsplash.com. And the reason is these images that you could use here are all royalty free. So you don't want to be using images that you get from Google because, because you may be infringing on someone's copyright. Okay, so go ahead, download the image that you'd like for your background and the recommended size for this, because this image needs to cover the whole screen is 2000 by 600 pixels. Okay, so now let's dive in and let's add our background image. So I'm just gonna click on save and publish and then I'm gonna go in and edit this actual post. So now that this is saved, I'm just gonna close this for now and I'm gonna come over here to my posts, click on all posts now I'm going to go into our default uh, Hello World post and I'm just going to click on edit. Now that I've selected edit, you can see here what we are editing here is the standard post. So I'm going to come over here and set my featured image. Click on upload files. Now my image is already set and it has the right dimensions, which I mentioned before of 2000 by 600 pixels. Now I'm going to click on select files and then I'm just going to go to the desktop where my image is click on it and then click open. Now that it's open, I'm going to set it as a featured image. Okay, so let's do a quick preview and see how this post looks like. So I'm going to click on view post. So now we can see that our image has been applied to this top part of the website. 
So let's go back into our dashboard and um, into our posts and let's add a new post. But this time it's going to be the video post. So I'm just going to name this post a video. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste the URL to the video that we need to show here. So I'm just going to select one of my videos here. I'm just going to click on it and just get the URL. So the URL, you can get it here. So I've copied that. Now back in my post, I'm just going to paste it here. And then I'm going to add a bit of text below that. Now, what's important here is to make sure that you select this video. Next, you need to set your featured image. But for now, I'm just going to use the same image that I used in the standard post. So I'm going to set it as featured image. So now I'm going to go ahead and click on publish. So let's do a quick preview and take a look at the post. OK, so we can see that we have the post here in place now. We want this video to have a border and slightly overlap into this uh, hero image. So to do that, we need to add a bit of CSS code. So let's go back into our DV theme customizer and select this so I can see the changes happening. Now I'm going to go ahead and click on additional CSS and then paste my CSS code here. That code that I've just entered, you can see it has pushed the video slightly above and into this hero image area. And this is the effect that we need. So I'm going to go ahead now and click on save and publish. And then I'm just going to close this. You may say, well, I'm not really happy with this sidebar. And um, that change is quite simple. All you need to do is to come to, is to come back into this article and make sure that on the top here where it says page layout by default, it comes to the right sidebar. So you just need to click that drop down and make it full width. Click update. And now I'm going to refresh my page and then now let's see what difference that makes. Okay, so now we have the background image as our featured image and we also have the video and the whole article now is full width. In the next example, we're going to take a look at audio. So again, like we did before, let's go and uh, let's go ahead and add a new post. So I'm going to click on add new and call this audio. And then I'm going to paste a bit of text. I'm just going to click on um, audio. OK, so the next thing I'm going to do here is to upload our media file. So I'm going to click here on add media, select files. Now I have my audio file saved on the desktop of my of my computer now you need to make sure that the audio file is an mp3 file otherwise it won't work so i'm going to click once on the, on this audio file and then click open so this uploads the file to my media library i'm going to go ahead and click on insert into post so now we can see that it's been insert, inserted into my post and then next i'm going to set my featured image and just for the sake of time i'm just going to use my um my standard one that I uh, set up the first time. So I'm going to select it, click on set as featured image, click update. And now if I view the post, we can see now we have the player. Now we have a slight problem here. We have a duplication. We have two players. So this may be something that you don't desire. So to get rid of the second player, which is the one on the bottom here, we have to go into our custom CSS. So let's go back into DV theme customizer. Then I'm just going to click on additional CSS and I'm going to paste this CSS code. Now that code is going to hide that second player. Go ahead and click on save and publish. And then I'm just going to close this so I'm out of that. Now if we refresh, you can see that um, that second player is gone. Now you can see that this player looks has a lot of space around it. We can make this even look much better by adding a, an image behind it. So let's let's go ahead and do that. So first of all, I prefer to have a sidebar on this because this is just an audio player. So we don't really need all that real estate. So back over here, I'm just going to switch this back to um, right sidebar. So I'm just going to click update. And then the next step now is to upload the image that we need as the background of our player. So I'm going to come over here to my media library, click add new, select files. Now my file is already on the desktop. And if you'd like the right dimensions for this, it's 700 by 300 pixels. So I'm going to click on this image, click open. Right. So once that's uh, uploaded, I'm just going to click this edit. Now the reason why I've clicked edit is because we need to get the URL of this image. So it's right here. So I'm going to highlight it all and then copy it. 
Now the next step is to go back to our CSS code. So back here to theme customizer, click on additional CSS. And then when you scroll down here, there's an area here which says enter image URL here. So this is where you need to paste that link that I copied from my media library. So I'm just going to paste it here and you can see that it's automatically updated. And now we have this audio player with a background image of the singer or the musician. So click on save and publish and let's close this. Now let's have a proper view of how it looks now. So I'm going to refresh this page and now you can see that we have the player and we have the image and it's the right size with the sidebar. Okay, so let's move on to the next format and this will be the quote. So I'm going to click on add new post, give it a title of quote, and then I'm just going to paste my text in here. And now I'm going to highlight what I need the quote to be. So I'm just going to highlight this first line and then click on this button. Let's set our featured image. Now that we've added the, the block quote, make sure that you come over here to the format and make sure that the quote is selected. If you don't, you won't get the styling that you require. So now that, you've, now that we've selected the format, go ahead and click on update. Okay, let's take a quick view of what this looks like so far. Okay, so we can see that's what it looks like, but we can go ahead and add more styling to this. And to do that, we need to go into our theme customizer and add the CSS code. Okay, so let's go ahead and add the CSS code. So I'm going to come over here to Divi, theme customizer, and then we're going to come to additional CSS, and then we're going to paste our CSS code. And now we can see that it has a different styling to it. Now, as we did before, you can actually go ahead and add an image in this rectangle. So to do that, we're going to use the same image that we used in the previous post. So I'm just going to copy it here, copy the link to the image, and then I'm going to just find where I need to paste it in my code. So I'm going to come here and make sure that I enter my, add my URL right here like that and we can see now we have an image in the background okay so this is all set go ahead and click on save and publish okay so let's move on to our next post format and this is the gallery post format so what you need to do here beforehand is to have a few images in your media library so I've shown you how to add an image to your media library so go ahead and add about 12 images into your library and then I'll show you what to do next so I'm going to come over here and click on add new. We're going to call this post gallery. And then over here, you have to make sure that the format is selected. So I'm just going to make sure that gallery is selected. So what we're going to do next is to create our media gallery. So to do that, we're going to come over here to add media and then click on create gallery. So I'm going to select all the images that I need in my gallery click on create a new gallery like that and then insert the gallery so now we can see we have this short code that has been entered into our post and this is what's going to display our media library uh, our gallery so i'm going to come over here again to my featured image and i'm going to make sure that it's set to the one that we've been using but in your case obviously you can use a different image because it'll be a different post but this is just for the purposes of keeping this video as short as possible so now that i've selected my uh, my image i'm going to click on set featured image and um, we are happy with this format because it, the gallery is selected now let's go ahead and click on update we're going to do a quick preview and see what the page looks like so i'm just going to click on view post and now we can see we have our gallery in place. If we click an image here, it opens a light box and then you can scroll through these images like that. So just like how we did with our video post, we would like to elevate this into this hero image. So to do that, we're gonna to need to add some CSS. So let's come back here into our DV theme customizer and add the CSS code. Now, before I add the code, I'm just gonna click the, the gallery post and then I'm going to come over here to additional CSS, scroll all the way down and make sure that you add your code on a brand new line, paste the code. And now we can see that the gap between the images has decreased. And also this has now been elevated into this hero image. 
which is fantastic. So as I mentioned before, all this CSS that we're using throughout this tutorial can be found on our blog post, which I'll link in the show notes below. So now that we're happy with the layout, we're gonna go ahead now and click on save and publish. Let's go ahead now and add our final format, which is the link format. So let's come over here and add a new post. I'm just gonna call this link, paste my text in here. And then I'm just gonna make sure that I, the format is selected. On the featured image, we're gonna add our featured image, set it as the featured image. So what we're gonna do now is to add our first link. So I'm gonna make the link our elegant themes link. So I'm just gonna type the full link here with the, with the HTTP. Okay, so now that I've typed my link in here, I'm gonna go ahead and publish. And then I'm gonna view the post. So you can see that's our link. Now what we can also do is we can go ahead and style this link. So as we did before, we need to do that using our CSS. So I'm gonna come over here to our theme customizer and then click on additional CSS. And then I'm gonna paste my CSS code here. And now we can see that it's been stylized and it looks a bit much, much better. Okay, and as we did before as well, we can also add an image behind it. So to do that, we just need to, we just need to find our link to our image and then paste it in. So I'm gonna enter my image in here like that. And you can see it has been updated here in our preview. Go ahead, click on save and publish. And now if we refresh, you can see now that our link has been updated. So go ahead, give it a try. And uh, this is pretty much how you customized your post format. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we produce a video. We are going to be producing more videos similar to what you're seeing today. So until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.